Hey guys, Luke here. My back for episode six of my career mode show. The title is the boss, and the concept of the video, oh, the concept of the series, I should say, is pretty much we're going to try and go through m multiple leagues um, in the one career mode. Going to try and win heaps of different titles at heaps of, heaps of different teams. And we're starting off with Melbourne City, the feeder club of um, of Manchester City. Sorry, I couldn't even think of the name. Um, so yeah, obviously, you can look, their jerseys are quite similar. Um, they've got the same sponsors. Um, even the even the logos are quite similar. They, they changed their name. The cha the name of the team used to be the Melbourne Heart. So, yeah, they changed it to Melbourne City. So enough of that. Um, we're going to get into what's in this episode. So we've got our home game against the Wellington Phoenix. So in New Zealand, the New Zealand side, the only New Zealand side in the comp. Then we've got an away game against the Melbourne Victory. Then we've got another away game against the Wanderers. So we've got a pretty tough game. or a few tough games here in this episode. Um, particularly the Victory and the Wanderers, as Victory is a is a derby game. And we started off quite well here, um, pretty early on. Get a yellow card um, for Box, I think his name was. Um, yeah, just good stuff from David Williams. Just a fake shot, cut back inside. Then Aaron Moy stepping up. Can he put it in? No, he can't, but a pretty nice save there. Um, it's a little bit hard with free kicks because usually our main man is David Villa, but um, he's injured now. But a really nice ball, I think it was Moy who picked it up. And then just a sweaty here. Um, just simple stuff. And David Williams scores our first goal of the game and his fifth goal of the A-League season. So at halftime, we went up 1-0. And at this stage, I was thinking, we're going to breeze this one. Um, I had no doubt about it that we're going to win. And it, particularly when we start off the second half like this, um, just like eight minutes into the second half or so, David Williams could have made it 2-0. He didn't. And we just got to deal with that. And then Riera, um, he gets it to Boyd. Boyd scores. And that's one all. And it wasn't going to plan, to be honest. Um, you know, we were playing well enough, but we're not, we haven't got the lead, but we just throw it straight up earlier to Williams through Ramsey, and Williams, he'll cut back inside, he'll go in at goal, he'll cut back again, but he gets fouled this time by the Burlington Phoenix defender, and we have a penalty, and Corrin will be the one to step up, and he finishes it, that's 2-1, and it looks like it's going to be a um, game set match to us, I think, um, there really isn't that much time left, There's, there was about... Oh, just under half an hour, but I don't think that's enough to beat me. And then Moy gets it through to Duganzic. He's just got to beat the keeper, and he doesn't. What a horrible shot, hey. Like, just terrible. I couldn't believe it when I saw it, especially how clinical he's been for me lately. Then we throw a ball up here. Duganzic again, getting to it. And another saved shot. And then Williams with the follow-up misses pretty much an open goal. I mean, I suppose there was a few people there, but you, you understand what I mean by miss an open goal. So it's who I win. Um... Corrin got man of the match. He got a goal, so good for him. Um, also, I didn't give an, I didn't give a player off the episode for the last episode, and I think I'll give it to Madoka. He was pretty good. Um, yeah. So this next game is against the Melbourne Victory. Last game or last time we played them, we lost three two. Borussia just destroyed us. Uh, we had the lead um, two times in the game, and we ended up losing. So we were out for revenge. We're out for the kill in this game, and hopefully we can pick up a pretty nice win. Um, so we just saw the victory lineup just before. Now we've got our lineup, and it's probably our strongest side we can we can get apart from um, Corrin. So I think Corrin's hurt uh, for two weeks, I believe it was. So we got Modoc coming in. He was the player of the episode last episode, so he can do the job. He's a great player, and he's he's a different sort of player. Um, he's got the engine trait, so um, he's a person who just runs all the time. And they should have really scored right there. Um, they weren't pretty close. The Aaron Moy, they were just stuffing around at the back too much, and Aaron Moy. Picks it up for them, and more on the counter-attack here. And we're just taking it in. Will he pass it? Passes it in. David Williams takes a shot, and they get in the way. They block it. The good stuff by them. So we just pass it around the back. Hoffman's on the ball here. And we get it out to Damian Duff, one of our main guys here, who has stepped up in the absence of Villa, or Villa, whatever. And we're just taking it to the corner. We beat one. We're going to cross it back here to Moy. Shoots it, and he scores. 2-1. So... Pretty good performance so far. I'll be happy with a 1-0 win. Let's be honest, I'll take a win at any cost. And then Moy here, just doing some damage here. Just, he's just, I don't know, he's so tenacious in the midfield. Um, picks up a lot of balls and uh, starts the counter attack perfectly. So he's probably one of our best midfielders. I'd say he's probably the best midfielder for our side. And then we have it this half nine. 1-0, goal to Moy in the 27th minute. I'm going to jump straight in. The 75th minute, not much happened in the second half, as you can tell. And there's a goal. Oh, I thought it was going to be a goal. Sorry, um, when it happened, like I remember, like being like, "Oh my god!" Because we just sort of defended in the second half, pretty much. 
Um, yeah, so man of the match was Aaron Moy. We took him off, off as a substitute, but he did enough to get man of the match. Um, he did pick up a little injury for five days, and I believe that's why we took him off, but nothing too serious. And speaking of Moy, we're taking on his old club, the Western City Wanderers. And it's an away game, like I mentioned before. So here's their side, LaRocca, the captain. Topo Stanley is a really good centre-back for them. I'm not going to lie and say I know heaps about them, but yeah. So the last time we played Western Sydney, uh, we won 1-0 through a goal to David Williams. And we're looking for a similar result, if i be totally honest. I don't expect to blow them away. They're one of the top sides in the A-League. And yeah, we're just looking for a victory at all costs. So Madoc is still there. Uh, also Moyes out, so... We got a different sort of midfield. Um, I forget who's actually playing or how to pronounce. It. I think it's like Deshano or something, or uh, Deboko. I don't know. And they went really close there. We, we jumped all the way into the second half because nothing literally happened in the first half. So there was no point in me showing you the first half or any little random clips because nothing interesting happened. So we have a little interesting play there. We should have cleared it earlier. We didn't, and um, they nearly scored. They probably should have scored. Uh, but nice save by Redmayne, our keeper. And then in ninth minute here. Marino, who came on as a sub, he gets fouled there. That would have been a red card, but he gets back up and plays on, and he's got enough pace. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, and he scores. 90th minute, what a goal. What a goal. So here we have Marino just celebrating, runs to the corner, jumps and kicks the corner flag, and that's his that's his uh, third goal in the A-League, third or well, the first goal of this um, game, and the only goal is until the 90th minute. That's another victory for us. So we had three victories in this game. Redmayne um, picked up man of the match. But I'm going to say Madoka was the player of the episode. I'd like to see what your thoughts are in the comment section below. And also, if you could leave a like and subscribe to the channel and all that sort of stuff, that would be really cool. And uh, to end the episode, just going to look at the like the youth players and that sort of stuff. And the transfer market is uh, now open. So we're in January, and uh, that's where we're going to leave it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.